Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. Let us prepare ourselves to encounter the Lord in this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with twelve gates where twelve angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed. The names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the, and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel today on the feast of St. Bartholomew, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, is about the calling of Nathanael. You might be wondering why you never heard the name Bartholomew in our gospel today on his feast day, it is held that Nathanael and Bartholomew pertain to the same person because during the time of Jesus, a person may be called by his real name, Nathanael, or a person may be called in reference to his father. In which case, in this case, Bartholomew, which means son of Tolmai, Bar Tolmai. And so Nathanael is the son of Tolmai. Nathanael Bar Tolmai. In our gospel, we see how Nathanael, at the beginning, doubted Jesus. When Philip told him, we have found the Messiah, he is Jesus from Nazareth, the initial reaction of Nathanael was, can anything good come from Nazareth? And yet when he encountered Jesus, he declared, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. What happened? What changed Nathanael from doubting Jesus to believing in him? What happened in between doubt and faith is what Jesus told Nathanael. Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. What does that mean? The Jews would usually go to the fig tree, sit under the shade of the fig tree in order to study especially the scriptures. And so when Jesus said, I saw you under the fig tree, Jesus did not only mean, I know where you are. 
Jesus also meant, I know who you are. Jesus does not only know the location of the of Nathanael, Jesus also saw his heart. And when Nathanael felt that Jesus deeply knows him, he declared his faith in him. Dahil alam ni Nathanael na kilalang kilala siya ni Jesus, alam ni Jesus ang kanyang nasa puso, kaya naman si Nathanael naniwala at sumunod kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus also tells each one of us, I saw you under the fig tree. Jesus knows where we are. But more than that, Jesus knows who we are. And does it not feel good when you know that someone knows you for who you are? Would you not follow, believe, and love a person who accepts, who loves, who trusts you, knowing who you are, knowing everything about you, but still would accept, trust, and love you. That is the experience of Nathanael. That is why he gave his whole life as a disciple of Jesus. And because of this, he became a strong foundation stone of the city of God, of the church, as envisioned in our first reading today. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus told Nathanael, Jesus also tells us today, I saw you under the fig tree. Salamat sa Diyos at palagi siyang nakatingin sa atin. Salamat sa Diyos at nakikita niya tayo. Thanks be to God that He always looks at us with love, with mercy, and with compassion. Thanks be to God that His gaze is always on us, especially in these difficult times we are assured that He always looks at us and He does not simply look. He also responds with love. My dear brothers and sisters, God knows us for who we really are. He knows us deeply. May we follow, believe, and love Him. As we honor the Apostle, who was a man incapable of deceit, let us come confidently to the Father, opening our hearts in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be open to the workings of the Spirit, especially in the movements which enrich the faith of God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may deserve their honor and dignity by their honest and exemplary performance in office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That there may be programs for the formation of young people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find help in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that the faithful departed may share in the heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, as these prayers come before you with the help of St. Bartholomew, teach us to care for others and to trust in your providence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, We sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle, Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may, help, it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.